Oh boy, what did I get myself into? Well, folks, this is a 1971 Camaro that was brought to me by a customer. Yikes. There's really no words to uh, describe the shape of this vehicle. Honestly, if it were me, I'd scrap it. Whoever had this car before me, wow, you are just slapping mud everywhere, aren't you? They're even putting it over paint, look at that. That's a no-no. Got a rust hole here. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna have to ask one of my buddies to uh, come weld something for me. I'll owe him a favor. Some more random mud, more, Jesus. I think these might have been holes that someone was trying to fill up. That ain't right. To be honest, I don't even know where the heck the dang spoiler drills into or if this was even... Wow. I think the piece de resistance, though, is probably this. That is ridiculous. I mean, whoever did this didn't even care. You know what I mean? They they just slapped it everywhere and went hog wild. I think this is probably the second worst on the car. There's a little more little rust issues here and there, but whatever. This has got to get straightened out. God. And I believe whoever had this car before me had it at an actual shop for a month. And this is all they did. I believe they were charging like storage fees too and everything like that. I won't say how much I quoted to do this car for, but uh, you bet your sweet ass I'm gonna be asking for a few more hundred dollars because this is ridiculous. Well, this isn't even screwed on. So I gotta get screws for it. I've got to. Oh. Wow. <laughs> what did I get myself into here, folks? You can even feel that paint move and chip it off. There, this is a piece I chipped off. Wow, like they even slapped it in the keyhole. So I gotta figure out how to get in there and bust all that out of there. I think what my game plan right now for this car is to, uh, I'm probably just gonna get my uh, my new buffer that I bought, if you watched that video yet. And uh, I think I'm just gonna take 40 grit like one of those eight inch disc wheel things and I'm just gonna go hog wild and grind the hell out of this thing. <sighs> At least I don't have to do final assembly because there is no engine in this car. Let's check out the inside real quick. There's, this thing is literally down to like its shell form. Although I will give credit that the dash is uh, it's actually not really, I don't see any cracks at all to be honest. Hmm. So upon further examination, the spoiler is probably the nicest thing about the car. As well as these little pieces over here. And the sad part is, they're not even on the car. Just had my neighbor Jonathan over here and uh, had a good laugh because uh, I'm in for some freaking work. Still got to figure out how to get the trunk lid open. 
Uh, stick the camera in there. I don't know if you guys can see it. Rat's nest. Oh, Christ. Well, all right, guys. I'm going to end it here as I need to uh, get to editing because this is a nightmare for sure. Just hear my enthusiasm in my voice. Man, runs for days. Wow. I am really at a loss for words here. Truly. Yeah, like I said, I think I'm just gonna take a grinder, some 40 grit, and just go hog wild and just strip this thing down. Oh wow, look at this, I didn't even notice that. You got your pink Bondo, layers of paint. I don't know what this brown stuff is. Oh God. Well, all right guys, there's my new project. I am, I'm scared. So uh, anyways, if you uh, would hit that subscribe button, wherever it happens to be, I'd really appreciate it. If you wish to connect with me socially, you can find me on Twitter, uh, Facebook, Google Plus. Obviously, if you're watching YouTube, you already found me. Uh, Tumblr and Blogger, which all the respective links are down below. And uh, to keep up with this nightmare of a car, uh, Ed, if you're watching, we're going to have to talk, bro. But uh, yeah, all right, guys, till then, take care, stay safe, and I'll see you next time. Oh, boy. <laughs>